What's happening, everyone? Let's talk about Kali Yuga. Let's talk about the collapse. Let's talk about the decline. Now, some people say this is scaremongering, this is fear-mongering. But what I've noticed is that the people who are the strongest, who are the most well-developed, who have their life sorted out, it's these people who can handle these types of topics. And people say that it's scaremongering to talk about apocalyptic scenarios or the banking control over a system and they want to say that oh we're progressing everything's advancing but it's clear to me it's clear to obviously a lot of people who are watching this that we're in sharp decline and if you look at obesity rates skyrocketing depression antidepressant taking skyrocketing houses are doubling within the year i mean if these people want to delude themselves and tell us that everything's just sunny honky dory then fine this this channel isn't for you but obviously a lot of us can see that we're not in the greatest of times right now but it takes strength to be able to see that it takes courage to be able to call out the problems if we just want to pretend like everything's honky-dory, then obviously it's you who has the weakness. It's you who is depressed. My life right now is fantastic, okay? Look at me. I'm in a post-apocalyptic hellscape, and I couldn't be happier, okay? And I think a lot of you can handle this type of stuff because you're advanced people. You know what's up. You've been through the ringer. And to me, it's just par for the course. Now the Kali Yuga, let's get more into that. So the Vedics, the Vedic theology has a, a cyclical concept of time. And it's, what this is, is that time is in a circle and the ages are in a circle. And right now we're in the, the worst age, the Kali Yuga. And things are only going to get more fucked up as we go down the age until eventually we emerge into a golden age. Similar to the, what do we got in here? Shall we venture forth? All right. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting. Similar to Ragnarok, right? The Norse concept of a total and utter collapse of their universe, their gods die. Everyone dies except for two remaining humans to repopulate the earth with. Now, I don't think <laughs> it's going to be that drastic of a cataclysm awaiting us, but things are going to be rough in the coming decades. And what I'm calling for is people who are following my channel is to become stronger. I'm not here to, to say the sky is falling, but I want people to know that there's some fucked up shit out in the world and we should prepare ourselves for it. We should work on our inner selves. We should work on our problems. And that's what I've been trying to do in my 20s because I was a pretty troubled young man and the fact that I'm in Europe right now traveling with a woman I deeply care about is something that I would never imagined to happen to me when I was a young man so if there are zoomers out there who are listening and you don't think your life is going the way you want it to go. Just have heart, keep working on yourself, keep exercising, keep reading, keep that spiritual growth going, and you will overcome your perceived faults. Because I have a lot, and I'm definitely not perfect, and I'm definitely not right on everything, and I 
the, the biggest thing I love about this channel and the growing little small community I have here, what the f this place is a disaster, <laughs> is that you guys see things that I can't see. You guys are able to perceive the things that I miss and tell me the things I've missed or to redirect my gaze on certain things that I can't really always perceive because some of us have better insights on different topics. I'm not the, the grand pooba of the alt community, alternative history, alternative belief, alternative conspiracy belief. There's people who are way more adept than me, but I've been in it since I was a very young teenager. So there's just some things that I can know when I'm, there's bullshit in the air. Now we're just going to see what the, this next little... I feel like I'm in fallout right now. I don't know about you guys, but here we are. Glorious Ukraine. What do you think is down there, guys? Is that where the vampires live? The Slavic vampires? I'm not going down there. I watched Hostel the other day. Do not watch Hostel when you're in Eastern Europe. It's a bad idea. So we are in a decline. It's pretty obvious. I mean, we're not quite here yet. We're not at the re-education camp. People said in my last video about Yuri that we're stage three, stage four, but I don't think we are because there's no forced re-education camps happening right now. Let's see if we can get in here. And the roof is collapsing, okay. Um, <laughs> I can't even walk through here. Uh, there's no reforcing. there's no Sorry, there's no re-education camps. There's no cattle cars yet. I'm not saying that's not going to happen, but I don't think we can be classified as stage three or four until we're there. Oh, we got a guy here. He's cool. All right. So I don't think we're there yet. We're not at the total Alexander Solzhenitsyn type of deal. But we're not far either, guys. We're not far either. Let's see if we can get in this way. Okay. Yeah, I can get in here. Whoa. We're not full fallout yet. And I don't know if we'll get to full fallout. You know, it's gonna be a very slow, draining decline. It's not gonna be just the Okay, the zombies are here, and we are going to have to figure out a way to survive the zombie apocalypse now, because they're running in the street. This is your uh, future bug out location to all my preppers. Now, hopefully it's a bit more reinforced than this. Oh, I don't know what that was. So... Here we are, the future, and a lot of ways, guys, and uh, and the Ukrainians watching this, you know, individually, Ukrainians are great people, but they're, they inherited the system, right? And it's just so broken from what happened with the Soviets. And in a lot of ways, I see Ukraine not as a distant past, but as a coming future. Because, let me just say this. There are oligarchs in control here, right? The people have been completely screwed over by their system. And the, it's the gap between the rich and the poor it's just so distinct and so fucking disgusting that as that progresses within our own nations in Western Europe and North America, 
we will be at that level as well. We will have, some would say we already have our oligarchical control, but you guys haven't seen what it really could be like unless you come here because there are people working very hard and not earning what they should be. And then what that translates to is people just stop giving a fuck. And once you stop giving a fuck, production goes down and people become more poor and it's just this fucking cycle that they're in here. And it's horrible to see. Um, people glamify, glorify, and glamify, I should say, their travels here. And honestly, I think those people are just sex tourists or degenerates because the booze here is cheap, so they're just drunk the whole time. They're not really opening their eyes to what's around them. But um, it's not this sugary wonderland. I'm going to make a more um, specific video on that. But that this ties into the Kali Yuga the collapse. People ask me what do we do to fight it. You see, we're in this motion, this wheel that's turning. And I mean, there's so very few of us who can even acknowledge that there's a decline. People think that we're progressing because there are graphics cards that are better than last year's graphics cards. That's our idea of, of progress today. People think that because computer engines are getting faster and, and cars are a little bit more better on fuel or they're electric now, which that we've had electric technology forever anyway, that we're progressing, but we're not. And what I say to us is that you have to look inward to find the, the collapse, the decline in yourself and turn that to a growth, to a strengthening, to a building of your own character, of your own self-reliance and find like-minded people. That's what this channel is about, to let people like me out there know that you're not alone and that there's people who think like you. Because when I connect with people who think, I mean, these concepts that are completely out of the mainstream that we, that we talk about, guys, when you can actually have like a real conversation with someone about that, it's really healthy and encouraging to know that there's people who are perceptive enough to see everything. So thanks to all the people who have been commenting and talking to me on Discord and everything. But that's the thing, we need to strengthen ourselves. Like we're we're living in a broken world and until we understand that we have to fix ourselves first, we can't really fix a, an entire embedded world that's just fricked. And what does this mean? This means getting off of the, the junk that they're using to make the decline within yourself. This means quitting the porn, quitting the cornstarch shit diet. Let's see if we can get in here. Um, the video, all the stuff that is poisoning us. I mean, even like video has declined too, right? I remember when I was a kid, it was multiplayer, one home with your friends, and you'd have this fun time in a group and now everyone has to have their own console, everyone has to have their own consumerist little setup. It's no, it's no longer a group activity in real life, it's a solo in your room isolation chamber. So even that, right? I'm not saying 
these technologies are, are inherently evil, but they're they're being pushed towards a way that's unhealthy. I never expected I'd get haters from this channel, but I guess people have just the need to t call me a fear monger or a doomsayer or that I'm somehow depressed. But guys, like, my life is pretty damn good right now. I'm in a really good place. I'm, once again, I'm in Europe with my woman and we're loving our lives right now. And I am able to peer into the darkness only because I have such a strong foundation. And those who are you're watching, you probably know that. You have this foundation in your lives that you've created that you're not afraid to look at the things wrong. You don't put your head in the sand. You can see things that others can't see because you're strong enough to see them. And it's the weak people who are deluding themselves saying, Oh, we're scientifically progressing, everyone. Look, uh, do you have a source to prove the decline? And as soon as they're asking for a source, don't even give them a source. Don't even go that route because then you're buying into their appeal to authority framework where you have to find some study, even though if you wanted to go that route, you could prove there's a decline anyway, but just don't don't kneel to their little pathetic level of studies and trusting science just don't go the bug man route where these soy mongers are asking for source at that point you won <laughs> they're asking for source just don't even bother and uh Just remember that you're not alone in this, guys. And girls, you're not alone. Mr. Anderson, you're a virus. And that's my next point I want to make, is try to... F I'm lucky because my family, my immediate family, are on board with what I say so my family's strongly knit together and that's super important to establish because um, if you don't have that it becomes very isolating so talk to your family about it you know you might not want to open up with the dmt aliens right away <laughs> But just talk about how you think, you know, society maybe isn't heading in the best direction. And you have some concerns about that. Because it's really valuable to have your family on board with you during Kali Yuga. And then you can work outward from that circle. You have to form the circle. We can't... That's survivalism 101, guys, is you can't do it alone. The lone wolf will perish and the pack will thrive. So form your wolf pack. Form your family, your manor bund, the concept in the Norse, where people, men, and of course, you obviously have to have women as well because they're the future creator. Come together and form their their war bands, their groups. So form your little manor bun wolf pack and push through Kali Yuga together. The silver lining in all of this is that at the end of Kali Yuga is the golden age it wants it will come again and I do believe that after this current incarnation of our realm ends something better will emerge after things start to become more stable again I truly believe that and I also believe that this isn't the best time that humanity has ever lived. I think we're being lied to about that. 
and a lot of people I think are starting to wake up with that concept that okay we have only fans and unlimited pornography and stagnant wages obesity everywhere and this current situation things are going so well everyone <laughs> you know it's the worst part of it though guys I'm not gonna sugarcoat it is that things aren't going to be better for a while there's going to be some crazy stuff happening I can't even see in there hello Privet comrade Double den. Double batchin ya. All right. Whatever dark spirit resides in there should have, I should have its blessing at this point. So, oh my God. <laughs> I think prepping and survivalism is a good thing. That's the one of the benefits of YouTube that's still around. There's a just so much material out there. You could just, you know, become a expert in this type of material just by going on YouTube these days going out. Obviously, you have to practice. You have to go out in the woods and practice which is key. It's something that I'm missing right now, traveling, I'm missing my bow, I'm missing my forests. Though there's forests here, which are nice. And there's a post-Soviet fucking hellscape buildings like this. Oh shit. This is my new hostel, guys. This is where I'm gonna sleep. But what is going to happen is that the rich and the poor, like here, it's just going to become more apparent what's happening. It's going to just be this oligarch class where it, it's essentially neo-feudalism. We're approaching neo-feudalism where we're not going to own anything and we're going to be happy because they've developed with neo-feudalism they've developed a pressure relief valve that they didn't have back in the days of the peasants yeah. they didn't have in the backs of the days of the peasants what they had now is that Social media can distract you from the fact that you're under oligarchical control and that your life is actually deteriorating around you. And this is happening because, well, the likes, the dopamine, the rush, this is giving you a sense of well-being of progressing of achieving things in life having likes having followers saying what the people want to hear saying what <laughs> is going to give you the most likes and pats on the back so when you say i believe that eating the bugs is actually the, the right step forward and we need to ban meat and you get fifty thousand likes and 20,000 followers and you fire up that patreon for that you're going to be very very happy and that's kind of what's already happening now but it's going to keep 
happening as you progress. And it's not the uh, it's not the people's fault. I mean, it, this is a very advanced technology that we're being targeted with. OnlyFans, porn, social media. There's not a lot we can do with our little monkey brains to protect ourselves from that. I shouldn't say monkey brains because that's kind of denigrating us as a being. But you know what I mean. Our primal part of our brain. And so you have to be aware of the, the things that the Kali Yuga is attacking you with. And no, I'm not this Vedic guy. I read a lot of Vedic thought and for me, it's not really my thing, the Eastern philosophy. I like to embrace this realm. I like to embrace the Maya. I think our realm is an amazing place to be I don't think it's a prison to escape. There are cages within it, but this place is wonderful in a lot of ways. Magical realm. It's just the magic's being stripped away by the gremlins and the orcs who are in control. What was it that worm tongue called Gandalf? Gandalf was the warmonger, according to Worm Tongue. He was the bearer of bad news. He was the man who was the doomsayer, the doom and gloom, like the, some of the bug men like to say about me. But I would rather have Worm Tongues call me the Storm Crow because that tells me I'm, I'm actually standing up for something here. And being truthful for what I see because Gandalf wasn't afraid to tell the Rohirrim what was up. Oh, it is glorious. Oh, there's like beauty in this hellscape at the same time. It's kind of remarkable.